In a remarkable show of versatility and team play, Jordan salvaged a bull season during their championship ascension that, if he had continued on this path, could have altered triple-double history. Going into this game, knowing that Harrison wasn't going to be there, and now with Clay not there, what was your personal mission for this team? Um, and we just wanted to come out and battle. You know, we're, we're a no-excuse team. Draymond, it's interesting. You guys are doing this kind of Jedi mind trick where it seems like the pressures are on the other team during this long streak. You guys look like you're having fun, you in particular. How how are you finding joy in this journey? Oh, man. I mean, we're definitely having fun. That's what this whole thing is built on for us. Well, I am hella. They put him in the list. <laughs> do the bomber. Yeah, yeah, do, do the bomber. Do the bomber. <laughs> do the bomber. The obligatory Cleveland hasn't won a major championship since 1964 when the Browns beat the Colts. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, they get it. But if you think that defines a Cleveland sports fan, then you really are an outsider. Because if you grew up here, you know it's never been about the failures. It's always been about the fight. Tragic news to report involving the NBA family as China Thomas, the sister of Boston Celtics guard Isaiah Thomas, was killed in a one-car accident early Saturday morning in Washington State. According to police, China Thomas, age 22, died at the scene of the accident after her car slid off the highway and struck a pole around 5 a.m. Home of Trump National Charlotte and home of Scott McCarran and now home of the 2019 Charles Schwab Cup. How does that sound? I like that. That sounds really <laughs> good, Vince. It's been an amazing run. And uh, officially, let's start with the arrival of the trophy at the McCarran home. What was that like when you unwrapped the hardware? One quick, quick one, Red, <laughs> oh, give us a quick joke. Hey, yeah, hey, hey guys, the, you are absolutely <laughs> right. Just say, hey, 49ers are gonna win the Super Bowl. Prove it. Prove why you're saying that. And statistical information will help you tonight in staying on the air. If you don't come up with a good argument and one that has been thought out and one that has factual information, then we will lose it. We will lose the call. Hence, prove it or lose it. I can't explain it any more succinctly and uh, clearly. Cavaliers win this and pull this off. This place is going to make Times Square on New Year's Eve look like a backyard bar. It's convinced me, as the gentleman try to convince me, your host, that their point of view is the correct one. Did y'all have a Piggly Wiggly? That's an old book cover from well, the old well, grocery bag. Sam, I think the real winner here is the Convince Me book. Because now we'll all look a little differently. You don't judge a book by its cover. Thank God. <laughs> I salute you, Convince Me book. And I salute you, America. America! <laughs> It's been so much fun to watch you perform on PGA Tour Champions. You're an 11-time winner. On the PGA Tour, your three-time winner had success there as well. What is it that you're doing now that maybe you do even better than you did in that early stage? That early off the air next week. I'm going to miss you, too. <laughs> maybe we can work something out where we don't have to go off the air. Oh, I'll tell me who to pray to, and I'll do it. Oh. Now, you know what? You can say whatever you want tonight, Susie. You don't have to prove anything to me. Vince? You've proved your Vince? loyalty to me already. Vince? I love you so much. <laughs> All right. There is just no way to measure it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you love me? I do.